Hello, uh, this is uh, Chol Hoi Kim. I work at Hanam uh, University. Uh, I'm honored to share my uh, knowledge on uh, water policy. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, this time is the just introduction. We have uh, three lectures I will give you. So. Uh, uh, in this time, this first lecture, I will give uh, uh, just introduction uh, for water policy. Mm, I will give you the uh, wide uh, action. Uh, what is a water resource policy? As I said, it's just uh, introduction. Next two lectures, I will give uh, special issues about water issues that you are uh, interested. If you give me uh, information about that, I will give the, I prepare the another uh, lectures. Uh, there are seven contents of my lectures. First is definition of water resource policy. And second is agenda setting for water resource policy. A third is policy analysis. Uh, fourth is policy decision making. Uh, fifth is policy implementation and success and policy evaluation and feedback. And seventh, uh, what the policy issues and career like that. First, uh, what is uh, water resource policy? Uh, there are four types of water in this world. Uh, first is blue water, as uh, we call it, uh, blue gold, like that. Uh, surface and grand, uh, groundwater, like water in the rivers, lakes, and aquifers, it calls blue water. Next one is green water. It is uh, rain water that was precipitated on soil. Uh, that can be used naturally for the plant and agriculture. There are another one, gray water. Water that has been contaminated by human use or proximity from uh, freshwater fertilizer runoff to uh, dishwashers and showers. And next one is virtual water. Water uh, consumed to make an agricultural or industrial product, how to make, how much water they are importing or exporting through their grid. It, we call it virtual water. And what is uh, policy or public policy? Policy is a, a principle or rule that guides decisions in order to achieve a, a rational outcome, including private and public sectors. Uh, for example, uh, social insurance policy, just insurance policy, environment policy. It includes private area, but we call it that we deal in this lecture, public policy. What is public policy? Uh, this a set of activities that government engages in uh, for the purpose of changing the economy and society. Changing the economy and society. Another one is a set of actions that affect the solution of a public a policy problem. And that is uh, a dissatisfaction regarding a certain need, a demand or opportunity for public intervention like that. Uh, what is component of public policy? There are four components. First is government. There are uh, central or local. Central government, national government, is nationwide uh, ruling over the uh, country. But local government, uh, it is a, a control uh, local area. Uh, kind of uh, regional government. Next one is social problems. 
need of intervention of government. It is a kind of policy target and policy goals, such as water pollution, deficiency of clean and safe water, inequality of water use and access. Third component is action of government. How to solve the problem, social problem. Regulation, incentives, persuasions. It calls kind of uh, policy instrument. There are two types. Uh, one is direct action of government. Government production uh, through public owned enterprise. Kind of information making, regulation and control. Another action is indirect, indirect action of government. A kind of social uh, regulation, kind of uh, incentives, subsidies, vouchers. It's called a market oriented, market oriented uh, regulation. First, grounds of public policy. Why public policy? Uh, it comes from constitution, laws, and election pledges. It uh, classified mandatory or discretionary. Uh, Constitution, rules, election pledges, says. So uh, there are four types of government, social problem, action of government, ground of public policy. Then what is component, what are the components of uh, water resource policy? Who? Uh, central government or local government or public owned enterprise? For what? To solve the social problem related water, related water, water resource policy target and policy goals. How? Uh, regulation, incentives, participations, persuasions. It is a water policy instrument. A direct is make a dam, water works, or wastewater system through a public owned enterprise like uh, K-Water in Korea. In uh, direct action, kind of, uh, water quality uh, regulations or incentive subsidies like that. Ground of water policy comes from constitution, water related law, present, election pledges for water. Uh, there are uh, five steps or cycles of water resource policy. Agenda setting, policy analysis, policy decision making, policy implementation, policy evaluation and feedback. We call fifth stages of public policy. Uh, we deal with this uh, five steps of public policy. Uh, agenda setting means private problem becomes social problem and social problem becomes government problem. Now, policy analysis means the uh, competitive analysis on various uh, alternatives, including cost benefit analysis. Policy decision making it means choice of best solution uh, based on uh, rational theory or garbage can model like that. Uh, public implementation, there are two uh, approaches, top down or bottom up approaches. And next one is policy evaluation and feedback is a kind of performance evaluation and feedback to uh, policy decision and implementation. We deal with this uh, five steps about the, the, in this lecture. Uh, agenda setting for water resource policy. What is agenda setting? Uh, agenda setting means social problem as become, social problem becomes policy agenda. 
social problem is kind of reality related with politics, economy, science, and society. And media uh, influence on social problems. So media makes uh, agenda building or agenda cutting. Journalists, political uh, public relations, intermedia agenda setting, we call it intermedia agenda setting. So public agenda becomes policy agenda. It means uh, public sector perceive this social problem is important and we have to solve the problem. So public perception of reality. There are two channels. First, direct channel. Um, Without media, uh, public uh, officers select the social problem as a policy agenda. Indirect, indirect channel is including media agenda. Social problem becomes media agenda and public agenda and policy agenda. Uh, there are some special issues about uh, agenda setting. It is kind of non-decision making. Peter Barak and Morton Barat and 1970, they made the non-decision making model. It means suppressing challenges to the status quo and suppressing the addition of new issues to an agenda. It means kind of media cutting public policy cutting and suppressing. Uh, let's see the uh, specific area. Uh, first, social problems related water. We call uh, agenda setting for um, water resource policy. There are uh, so many water uh, policy issues, such as lack access to safe and clean drinking water. Uh, as you know, in fact, uh, uh, 663 million of people on Earth need for water supply in the world. And uh, pollution, pollution of fresh water need for preventing water pollution. Climate change, global warming, and flood and need for management of a flood. Drought, uh, need for water supply. It is all of them is social problems of related water. And roles of media, media selection, we call it media selection. Uh, agenda setting, uh, reporting and analyzing social problems related water issues. And another one is agenda cutting. And especially there's no agenda cutting in advanced countries, but on the development countries, there are so many uh, agenda cutting. Reality not shown by media because government control the media. We call it agenda cutting. Public uh, agenda becomes po policy agenda. Government selection as a uh, policy agenda and policy making. Uh, government non-decision making, kind of media cutting, government cut the issues, suppressing water issues to uh, social issues. Another step is policy analysis. How to do, what policy we use. And policy analysis is a technique used in a public administration to enable civil servant activists and others to examine and evaluate the valuable options to achieve the public target. Why uh, policy analysis? Just for adjustment of conflict in values. Conflict in values, efficiency or equity or sustainability, what we have to huh? 
rely on improvement of rationality of policy. Uh, there are two major fields of policy analysis. First one is analysis of existing policy to explain policies and the uh, development, just uh, the uh, analysis existing policy for descriptive policy analysis. Another one is analysis for new policy uh, to make new policy for solving the uh, social problems. I call it prescriptive, prescriptive policy analysis. What pro procedures of uh, policy analysis? There are uh, fifth steps. Uh, first step is definition of uh, policy problem based on different value system. Water development or water conservation. It is conflict between the values. But we have two definition of uh, define uh, the policy problems. Next one is decision of policy goals. Uh, what we are, uh, want to make this from uh, through this policy efficiency or equity or sustainability. Next one is investigation of policy alternatives. Uh, we look at uh, past policies, case study of foreign countries, modeling, verify like that, a special uh, interview for uh, specialist, brainstorming, etc. Next one is uh, comparison and evaluation of policy alternatives. Uh, there are two criteria for uh, comparison. Desirability as kind of uh, PCR, best cost ratio, interest rate of return, net present value. Uh, this is kind of uh, criteria to uh, discern what is desirable. Another one is feasibility, political, technical, institutional feasibility. Impossible or possible? Impossible, we cannot do that. It costs feasibility. And next one is, last one, choice of best solution based on criteria. It is the five steps of a policy analysis. Uh, let's look at uh, specifically about uh, desirability and feasibility. There are uh, three types of uh, desirability. Uh, first is economic efficiency. We can measure it uh, BCR, benefit cost ratio, internet, uh, internal rate of return, that present value. We, we, I will explain this one next. Uh, step. Equity and uh, genius coefficient through uh, this one. And effectiveness through achievement rate of against target. It is kind of uh, a desirability. Another one is feasibility. The possibility that can be made or achieved for political feasibility, technical feasibility, institutional feasibility. It is very important to uh, execute, implement uh, uh, the um, policy. Next, what is uh, BC benefit cost analysis? Uh, BC analysis is uh, uh, systematic to estimate the strengths and weakness of alternative in the right of money, in the right of money type uh, of uh, benefit cost analysis, MPV, and that uh, present value of alternative. Uh, MPV is equals uh, sum of benefit minus sum of cost. If MPV is big, is uh, desirable, and uh, big MPV is better choice. BCR, 
uh, benefit cost ratio. Uh, PCR means uh, sum of benefit divided by sum of cost. If PCR is bigger than one, number one, uh, it's desirable, but it, become, uh, it depends on uh, how big is one. IRR, internet rate of return. Interest rate which meet uh, sum of benefit equal sum of cost. We compare IRR with market interest rate. Uh, restriction of benefit cost analysis. Difficulty to measure non-market value. Uh, Water works and government deal with non-market area. So there's no market price. How to make the uh, in the right the money? So environment, human life is very difficult to measure the uh, market value. So we use shadow pricing and social rate of return like that. It is a kind of a specific area to policy analysis. Uh, just today is a, a introduction. If you have interest is, uh, in this area, you can ask your government, I want to go study this field. So give me uh, money and time. I want to go to study in Korea at Hanam University. I will teach you for two years and you can get master degree about like that. Okay. Uh, policy decision making. Uh, process of policy decision making. What is policy issues? This is the first step. What and why? It generate policy alternatives and uh, establish decision criteria, efficiency, equity, sustainability like that. And policy analysis, like the policy decision making, including policy analysis, as we uh, investigate in previous uh, chapter, cost benefit analysis, uh, cost effective analysis. There are two criteria, desirability, feasibility like that. And the last step is choice of best alternative Com based on comparative analysis on various alternatives and choice of best solution. There are so many uh, uh, theories of policy decision making. Uh, I will show uh, four theories about that. First is uh, rational comprehensive model. It needs maximum social gain or benefit. A perfection of decision maker and uh, it pursue economic efficiency. Uh, many economists like that, but in real world, impossible as you know. And next uh, theory is incremental model. Uh, Herbert Simon in 1982 uh, developed the uh, concept of bounded rationality. Not perfect uh, uh, rationality, but bounded rationality. We just modeling through, like grouping the wall. Uh, based on rent form. So imperfection, imperfection of decision maker, uncertainty, and political efficiency, and negotiation is very important in policy making. Over the, we need just over the minimum. Hey, okay, it's sufficient, it's enough. Next one is mixed scanning uh, based on Etzioni. Uh, mixed scanning model uh, used in fundamental area, we use a rational comprehensive model, but in non-fundamental area, we just use incrementalism. We call it mixed scanning. Another one is 
very interesting model. It's garbage can model. Cohen, Murchie, and Olson in 1972, they made the uh, special uh, model of garbage can model. Uh, they emphasize on uh, the situation of policy decision making. There's a organized anarchy. We have to use uh, solutions and problems, participant, choice opportunities. There are four streams of policy analysis, policy decision making. But when the four streams meet together, uncertain. So like that garbage can, huh? someday we do not make a rational uh, comprehensive model, but just like a garbage can model, uh, we can solve the problem, uh, not uh, perfectly, but uh, imperfectly. So the garbage can model, uh, emphasize on uncertainty and serendipity like that. Um, in policy decision making, there are various participants and uh, collaboration on um, policy decision making. Uh, first, uh, decision makers, formal decision makers. Uh, in previous time, we emphasize on just uh, formal decision maker. But uh, in these days, in governance, water governance, there are important uh, of uh, participant of stakeholders, participation of scientists, and participation of civil society like that. We call it uh, water policy community or water governance. We have to make this governance, including stakeholders, scientists, and civil society. And actually in charge of, uh, of public policy, public servant is best, most important, and congressman is very important. And we uh, have to make a water uh, policy community and water governance, including stakeholders, uh, suppliers, and consumer, and interest groups and specialists and uh, civil society. It is very important in this world. Next one is policy implementation. What and why? Uh, some said policy implementation is most important to make performance in public policy. Uh, policy implementation is a set of process to translate the law and policy into actions that ensure the achievement of them. Why policy implementation important? Actualization of abstract policy through implementation. Uh, you are the public officers, you are the uh, executors. Through you, abstract law, abstract policy becomes performance, policy performance, performance. So policy performances depends on policy implementation and uh, policy political coordination and compromise is the most important in to make uh, public policy performance. Some said, it says, uh, the devil is in the details, as you know, the devil and the details. In the detail is most important and so complicated process. So uh, policy implementation is very, very important, it means. Uh, what approaches? There are two approaches of policy implementation. First is top-down approaches. Uh, it says policy, policy decision make more important than um, actors, policy implementation actors. It means a policy decision maker uh, 
will make our policy uh, performance. So top-down approaches uh, emphasize on clear and consistent objectives, incorporation of inadequate causal theory and hierarchical integration uh, financial resources. Another one is bottom-up approaches. It is emphasized policy implementation actors is more important than policy decision maker. It means policy implementation actors make uh, output and policy performance. So uh, bottom-up approaches emphasize on bargaining between number of organizations and their clients. It is the real world. Uh, decentralization decision-making environment, this creation of executive offices. Some of you are executive officers. Executive officers is very important. Uh, 1969, Lipsky, scholar Lipsky emphasized on street rebel bureaucracy. Street rebel bureaucracy means executive officers. It's a very important theories of uh, implementation. Uh, what are the important factors for successful policy implementation? The first is uh, policy variables. Policy uh, characteristics. What characteristics? Clear and consistent objectives and means. It is easy but uncertain complex or uneasy. It is kind of variables impact on the performance. Resources, uh, financial resource, human resource, information resources is very important on performance and implementation. And implementation variables, uh, the competence on and attitude, attitude of bureaucrat. What is the attitude of bureaucrat is very important to uh, implementation and uh, st stability of an executive body. If you go next month, another organization, you do not work hard, as you know. So a stability of executive body organization is very important. Another one is policy environment variables. Uh, for or against of interest group and social uh, civil society and uh, social economic situation and context is very, very important to policy implementations. And next one is policy evaluation and feedback. A policy evaluation is the systematic collection and analysis of information to make judgment about context, activities, characteristics, or output outcomes, results, impact of policy process. Why important? Evaluation of policy output, outcomes, results, in fact, it is the evidence of success or failure of policy implementation. So we have to evaluate the policy performances. Verification, the uh, reason, success or failure of the policy. So uh, evaluation, policy evaluation makes the evidence for success or failure of the policy. And what's most important is why we have to uh, do policy implementation for feedback to next policy process, uh, to policy design, to next decision making, to next policy implementation. It is, it includes a uh, kind of learning by experience, trial and error. We have to accumulate the 
uh, experience. Korea have uh, uh, about 70 years experience. We made the kind of advanced water policy. Uh, if you uh, need, if you want to get a uh, good water policy, you have to try and error. We can learn from failure and success. Even we fail, we can learn by experience. So feedback to next policy process is the most important process of uh, development of water policy. How to evaluate the policy? Uh, there are three types of evaluation. Ex ante evaluation is uh, before the policy is chosen, uh, designed, and implemented. Uh, why? To inform uh, policymakers of possible consequences of various policy options. It actually is kind of policy analysis. Next one is ex post evaluation. Uh, it is after the policy is complement, uh, implemented. Uh, it is a real kind of uh, evaluation, policy evaluation. Why? To measure how the policy has actually influenced the social problem, the met the policy target. Yeah, this is, this is a kind of policy performance evaluation. Another one is uh, process evaluation. Uh, it conduct during the policy implementation. We call it monitoring. Uh, why? Uh, to promote a successful implementation. So there are uh, three types of evaluation, but we call it this is the most important ex post evaluation and process evaluation is the important. Uh, and ex anti evaluation we uh, classify like that. Uh, policy analysis like that. Uh, what is the uh, process of policy evaluation? Define the goal of policy evaluation. Just monitoring or uh, comprehensive evaluation of policy impact. And next, uh, establish evaluation criteria, efficiency or equity, sustainability or client satisfaction. Next step is data collection. There are two data, uh, type of data. Hard data means uh, quantitative data, including the form of numbers or graphs. But qualitative, qual qualitative data means survey and interviews like that. Uh, data becomes evidence of success or failure of policy uh, implementation. Next step, deduction of evaluation result. There are uh, some uh, models to make uh, uh, evaluation, experimental model or quasi experiment model, non-experimental model. Uh, through this modeling, we can judge the uh, success or failure and make evidences. And we uh, policy make policy proposal to improve the future policy. It's kind of feedback and policy implementation. Uh, 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 impli, impli, uh, kind of uh, uh, policy feedback like that. Uh, last one is what are the policy issues? Uh, there are so many policy, water policy issues. And UN uh, suggests uh, sustainable development goals, number six, clean water and sanitation. Uh, there are six type of uh, specific area, achieve safe and affordable drinking water to achieve access to uh, sanitation and hygiene and, uh, and open defecation, and three, improve water quality, wastewater and safe reuse, 
for increase water use efficiency and ensure fresh water supplies. Five, implement integrated water resource management. And six, protect and restore water related ecosystems. In Korea, there are uh, so many water uh, policy issues, but I show uh, five uh, issues right there. Rearrangement of water institution in uh, 2018. We made a new uh, water institution in um, 2018. And uh, second, water supply systems, functional division between and national and local government and between uh, central government uh, department and uh, between uh, public owned enterprise. And another one is climate change and power section and water pricing. And another one is uh, smart water grid like that. Okay. Uh, I will uh, finish my lectures. And if you give me the information about what you need in water policy uh, through experiences with in, in Korean, I will show next two lectures uh, to you. It will be useful for you. Uh, so uh, I will wait uh, for your response. Okay. Today's lecture, I will finish this in this time. Thank you for attending and uh, let us see next time. Thank you very much.